weekend Tuesday morning. No snow this morning, but we are looking at snow uh, very likely later on as we head into the evening hours today and tonight. We actually have a winter weather advisory. This was issued from the National Weather Service for much of the area. All the counties in the purple. This goes from 7 p.m. this evening through 7 a.m. on Wednesday. And this is where we are expecting a snowfall of at least two inches or more. Uh, and all these counties here shaded in that purple. So for much of us, we are going to be looking at at least a few inches of snow as we head into tonight. Let's take a look at our current radar and satellite this morning. You know, yesterday we had a breezy but fairly mild day. That cold front came through around 7, 8 o'clock. Temperatures started falling. And this morning we're in the upper 30s. That front now down to our south. We have that north wind, and that north wind is going to continue to drive in cooler air clouds as well. A few showers to the north. As we zoom in locally this morning, you can see there are just a few showers, mainly in the far northern part of the area. But most of us are dry, and you can see up parts of Defiance County, a few showers right now. But a lot of this is going to stay north and really will not be too impressive this morning. So if a lot of your morning today will be spared from any rain or any snow. We will start to see a gradual uptick in those chances of rain and snow this afternoon. And certainly by tonight, it's a 100 percent or a chance of rain and snow. So here's a look at our temperatures today. There is going to be a huge spread across the state, but we're on the cooler side of this front. Temperatures by the time we get to 3 p.m. at 44 degrees here in Lima. Even colder as you go north, 53 in Bell Fountain. You go down to about I-70 in, in Columbus and Dayton. You start to run into those 60s, and it could be around 70 today uh, down towards Cincinnati on the warm side of the front. So here's a look at how those temperatures progress this evening. That cooler air sinks in by midnight as the heart of the snow is coming down. It's coming down heavy, and we're causing temperatures to fall. That cooler air aloft starts to come down towards the ground with those heavy snowfall rates. Temperatures fall to near freezing, and by late tonight, we fall just a touch below freezing, down to about 31 degrees heading into early Wednesday morning. So here's a look at our sky cast showing as we head into the afternoon. There's that increase by 4 p.m. of some scattered rain showers. As we head throughout the evening, I'm thinking around 7 p.m. or so here in Lima, we will start to make that transition from the rain over to the snow. Once we make that transition, it's going to come down heavy for quite a while. I mean, we're talking snowfall rates possibly near an inch an hour. And now, while we're going to get quite a bit of melting and compaction, the rate of snow will be enough that we're going to see the stick on the grass and even some of the roadways. I would not be surprised if some of the plows are needed tonight because the snow is going to come down so heavy. By 3 a.m. and onward, it starts to taper in intensity. And I think after 6 a.m., we're done and we will have sunshine. By tomorrow afternoon, all the snow should be melted away. But Later tonight, I'm expecting about two to four inches of snow, again, mainly on the grass, but some road impacts are likely to develop. We'll see a high of 44 today. Again, some scattered rain developing later this afternoon, and then that snow this evening. I'm thinking around 7 p.m. in Lima, we make that transition. A snowy night tonight. If you are traveling tonight, please take it easy. Tomorrow, we will see that snow melt away. It'll be all gone by later tomorrow afternoon. High temperature of 42 degrees, and we do see improvements in that extended forecast. 50 on Thursday. By Friday, we're ending the week, forgetting about all the snow, 60 degrees. And then some rain on Saturday, a little bit chilly with highs in the 50s. But there's one day that stands out. It's a week from today, 77 degrees. So hang in there. We do have some warmer temperatures in that extended forecast.